We're here with Pat Costello to talk about a couple of horses in the Paramount sales consignment for the Keeneland September sale. Let's start with 146. A street sense colt uh, really has a, has a presence about him. Yes, uh, physically he's just a, a real athlete in my mind. He's, he's very correct and, and I think street sense is actually starting to go get better and they're going to be better three-year-olds and this is just a handsome colt. I think he's a derby kind of horse. Here in Kentucky, uh, fans are excited about what Randall Cobb did in that first NFL game. We were talking that the great ones, there's something about them that really is not tangible, but it's true in humans and in horses, right? Yes, when when you can spot him from another barn, he, he just when he just walks, he just moves. He, he He's just a pure athlete. And this is the, the first year of the street census to be on the track. Yes, they have two year olds this year and he has he had a very nice filly come out with Karen McLaughlin uh, there last week up in Saratoga and so as I say I th I think they're gonna be even better three year olds, so this is I'd say as good a representation of the sire that is out there. Hip number fifty eight is a uh, son of uh, Tail of the Cat and out of the Mary Ecology who threw general quarters, it was a graded winner on three different surfaces. Tell us about that one. Yes, and again, this horse is by Taylor the Cat looks like a really two-year-old, fast-looking early type. His uh, full sister, New Wave, is with Rusty, and she just placed in a, in a stake in Saratoga just last week, um, and apparently is, in, is going to become two Alcibiades right here. She was here last year. She made 300000 here last year, and uh, again, I think this is an early, real fast-looking horse. Anything that stood out about her early uh, in her days at the farm? Um, she, yeah, she was nice. I think this colt is nicer. I, I think he's earlier and faster. She was very nice and she was lovely here. And, and, and Watts Humphreys fell in love with her at the sales here last year. He bought her here. Let's talk about the, the sale overall. Uh, who, what, what are you seeing in terms of activity from prospective buyers? Are you encouraged that it's uh, going to be stronger than last September? Well, I'm a, yes, I am a little encouraged. Um, all the sales, both in Europe and here, have been strong so far this year. And Deauville was good, Saratoga was good, the OBS sale in, in, in Florida was good. So I see the trend continuing a little bit. I'm hearing a lot of things that people, are, there's a lot of people coming over from Europe and the world, all over the world. I've heard there's a big contingent coming from Russia here. So I think it's going to be strong. I, I'm not sure how much it can go up in this economy, but I, I think it's at least going to be as good as last year, if not a hair better. A lot of, uh, we're seeing a lot of new sires in the in the pedigree. We talked about uh, first year street senses to be on, on the track. A lot of horses that uh, just now getting runners to the track. Yes, there's a lot of new sires right throughout the books and a lot of up and coming sires are like Bellamy Road is doing really well and um, Warfront who's, you know, stood for 7,500 at one stage now is, I don't know what he's going to stand for next year. Every time you pick up a, a results, he's, he's winning. So there's a lot of good young sires out there.